When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid No, guys, um, yeah, it took a bit of planning this But I think <clears throat> what a great opportunity Like we discussed, Eric just to get our boys together from that trip, as many as we could. Iconic, mate. 87, and reminisce about those early days at Casey. Yeah, so having caught my fish in 86, we went 87, the plumber uh, flew yeah. out. Yeah, man. Lucky. I managed to edit that video. <laughs> you had it right. Yeah, yeah, you did do it right. That was the we way it was going to go, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. That, that drive, well, even now, it's a bull buster, isn't it? Yeah, Whatever yeah. drive you're oh, doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that. But back then, you know, loading yeah, up yeah, in that van, oh. taking it in turns of being in the back, Sleep in the front. Well, he had his hand luggage on the plane. Yeah, yeah. Two hours. Yeah, two hours, hours there. Two hours. Me, 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 Mick. That's how he got the name. Me, 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 Mick. Always gear with yeah. him as well. And he caught a fish. Yeah, and he caught a fish. Yeah. I'm 10 minutes south of Paris, 20 miles 7 at night, and I'm actually home, 10 hours driving. We get to Pierre's oh. at 5 o'clock in the morning. That's why I think it's These rolls are fucking spell. <laughs> you can play this shit, the rolls are spell. <laughs> Yeah, when Eric gave me that tape, which was about an hour and a half, and that you took, and who else took it with you? Well, mate, Norman had the camera. Right. Had a big VHS put on your shoulder. Bless so him. we had it in oh, our Norman. swim. And the day you was there was, I think, the second day or third day. Like, the first day I arrived, I got totally burnt, didn't I? I picked my ears, choking my ear off. <laughs> In burnt skin, it was. That's why I was sitting under the umbrella, yeah. watching yeah, like a little well. sheep. Yeah. No fish yet. Day two. <laughs> I'll give him a running comment, running commentary over here. Yeah, and I'm burnt. Look, I'm all burnt. And everyone learnt their lesson after that because these boys have stayed out of the sun since then, haven't they? Yeah, look like yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that oil editing... liquid paraffin, isn't it, Mick? Or something is it with no it, sunscreen? It, coconut oil, oil liquid paraffin. Yeah, paraffin. Yeah. Paraffin. Oh, no, it's yeah. all changed now, isn't it? Don't do it now, though. But yeah, so, you yeah, know, that okay. tape came down to about 35 minutes, that 87 trip. So when I spoke with you, Eric, you know, and, and you know, my colleague had the you know, great idea as well of just mixing in a catch up between us yeah. so that the tape can have a bit of that t footage any other footage that we might have and that I've got photos but more importantly catching up about those early days yeah, and it's with that in mind yeah. that, you know these boys can go back before our trip and that's where mix you know you yeah well you that's know, where that's where it all started really was it when we, 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 we was fishing on a, a well-known lake um, yeah Back, yeah. back home in, in the UK, yeah, wasn't we? That's some, where it all kicked yeah, off. Yeah. It was after really twenty pound plus carp in in them days. Which is what eighty four. Yeah, eighty one, eighty two, eighty three. Yeah, just fishing, yeah. just fishing. And got to know a few people, you know, as you do, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, Kevin Maddox, the, obviously the inventor of the hair rig as well, he was a friend of mine, or <coughs> me and Mix, and then. We're fishing one probably in eighty three. Yeah, eighty three or something. And he said that time. just said something about all of a sudden the south of France. He mentioned the south of France and when he mentioned that and yeah. the old ears picked up, South of France, carp Sunshine. fishing. Because all we do in carp fishing <coughs> we don't all the tench fishing when you're kids, but we was carp fishing and it was like that, looking at just wait, sitting in the sun, in the summer, fishing for carp. Brilliant. So all of a sudden he said South of France, and I know it's hot down the South of France. So where is it? He went, uh, all secretive, I can't really tell you, which you did in them days. If you knew it, like in England, yeah. where I met you, we, there's yeah. a lake in England, Very in the early, so late 70s yeah. and early 80s, right? Yeah. So I said, what? And I kept on at him. So I was fishing this lake, see him now and again, and all that. He said, look, I'm going down there, and I think it was September 74. Uh, sorry, September 84. Yeah. So with Paul Regent, which is a friend of Kevin's. I didn't really know Paul, but he had the, the coach company in, 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 in Kent, I think it is, and he said, we're gonna go down. If we catch, he's gonna take coach loads of people down to carp fish in yeah. this lake. 
But they, did, they did a recce first, though, didn't they? The yeah, pair he of went September. Yeah. He said, yeah, yes, I said, so I'm going yeah. September. He said, if, recce, we don't, yeah. if we don't do no good, <coughs> I will tell you. So I left it at that, so I thought he was going to tell me anyway. So now, no one knew about lakes in France, big, for, mm. big fish. It was all England. So I waited and waited. Anyway, what it, he went down there in September, just him and Paul Regent. There was two of them. They fished in. There's one restaurant, there's a couple on there, but the shape of the airs, that's right, yeah. And the bait, base camp. Bait to the right where the boats come yeah. in, that's where they fished, wasn't it? And it, they fished in shape here yeah. for a long weekend. Yeah. And they had fished to, 30, to, to, to low 30s, 30s yeah. yeah. So 30s. they caught. So they, what they're going to do is, January and February of 85, they said, we're taking some cold trips, Mick, and then I promise you, if, if I'm not going to do it or that, mm. if something goes, you know, it's not all that, I'll tell you where mm. it is. So now we're waiting in yeah, the winter. We don't fish in the winter. They went down, yeah, they, they went down on that first coach trip, trip didn't they? That's it. And they went here in winter. Yeah, they're in, they're in, they're interrupting you. Know, <coughs> yeah. This is, uh, this, this angler's mail is April, April. 6, 1985. Uh, 85. 85, 85, and then you've got his advert. Yeah. Paul Regent's trip. That's it. That's right. So yeah. we, no one knew yeah, what was no. happening. So all of a sudden he told me that's and they're going to do I said, OK then. We wait for the wind anyway. What what happened was they went down there January. I don't know if they've done one a week, one every two weeks. They've done three or four trips January mm. and February, and they just lost fish. They mm. only fished during the day. Yeah. Because obviously night fishing in France is taboo. It's not allowed. It still wasn't allowed. Was it, it still wasn't allowed. You know. So yeah. we thought well, but what it is, my view was I think in France in them days they. Didn't let people night fish because fires, all French people, yeah, fires, but all French people kill, take and kill. Yeah. And if they fish 24 7, they deplete all the stocks of, you know, whatever they're catching, they just take yeah. everything, feed the well, cats. There's no wild camping, wasn't it? That was the thing, well, no. nights and stuff. No, there. so, okay. So <coughs> we was going to yeah. go down there and night fish, I thought, we'll give that best chance. So what happened was, all of a sudden, and, and during the course of January and February, me and Mick, we, we just, chose a few that was close to us and yeah. it was Alan Nightingale, <coughs> Ron Smith, because we was fishing the lake that he used to fish yeah. down at uh, Dan Clacton, Clacton yeah. there, and one other, Bobby Stent, I think we knew yeah, Bobby, Stent, I just played yeah. football with Bobby, there was five of us. Yeah, we I started said, to get the trip together then, didn't we, to well, organise said, a trip to yeah, go down there, but which was exciting. we still didn't know. No, it's unknown. He didn't it? tell me either, he no. didn't tell me, all of a sudden he told me because they was going to do trips but he weren't going to go and he, and he t did tell me where it That's was. That's when we planned it. This yeah. was February, right? Within three weeks, yeah. I think it was three weeks, we are on our way down. Yeah, March. We are on our way down, <coughs> loading up. Me, yeah, well, it, it was a great experience. I mean, I, I, was, I was only, I think I was only 18 when I, I think, 18 or something to do that sort of thing. And it was a great experience to sort of like plan all that trip and you go going to the unknown. <coughs> well, you're used to fishing in small, well, relatively small lakes for what was going to come up against driving all the way down there, you know, mm. out, out of our b boundaries, really, <laughs> you know, and just sort of, I always remember that, like, <coughs> the journey down. I know what you're going to say. <coughs> I remember that time when we just pulled come around that, the motorway. come off the motorway, yeah. that first view, as you come round, a, <coughs> and there is a south the arm. Yeah. That's yeah. the south arm. I mean, yeah. we've all yeah. first seen We it. didn't know that, though. No, we didn't know. Yeah. I'll, no. I'll never forget no. this moment, right? We was in that big we, truck. We've got some photos, and you'll see it. Yeah, there. we'll overlay the shots yeah. and yeah. stuff, boys, yeah. yeah. We, we turned off the motorway. Oh, it's not very far, but all of a sudden, it was six o'clock in the morning. It's just getting light. Don't forget, it's March. Still cold. Yeah. As we turned around, and we stopped and we looked down the valley. We thought that was it, we the south arm. That's the south arm. Yeah, we, we thought that was it. We don't know this, but there's a north arm, <laughs> yeah, there's a west arm, arm, there's no east arm, yeah. there's three arms. Yes. We don't know this. No, we said to each other, where do we start? For 10 seconds, <laughs> we're all out and we're like this. <laughs> it just went all quiet. Yeah. We all looked at each yeah. other. Where do you start? We it's used, about a mile long. We used to 10, to ten acre lakes. And well, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah we know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's it. And that Where was March start? 85, yes. was it, guys? Because that, that 85 <coughs> was the year, as I recall, that really kicked off casing. May, June, yeah. July. Yeah, Mexico because is, everyone then started well, going. Yeah. When it had warmed up, because yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can that's still that. have frosts and that down there, all yeah. of a sudden, after that yeah. March then, it would have been April, May, no, June, brilliant. July, and it didn't take many big fish to be caught, no. including 
Archie's. No, that was uh, I think Richie Max, was there. Max got his had a uh, Roger Smith, eight. bless him. Yes. Then yes. Max had yeah. the fish I ended up catching at 66, yeah. and and yeah. you know that on, was yeah. It was I mean, something on our, else. On our first trip, well, we we pulled up. That was a meeting place, wasn't it? Chez Pierre's. We all pulled up there, got our stuff out. To so get your permit. Your permits, permits and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and then we had to set off and go and get our swim. Where'd you start? No, because yeah. Kevin never told us. No. He just fished in the car, but he didn't know much about well, where On their trips, fish. I think they spread out along them points, on the, along the yeah. south arm, didn't yeah. they? Which was easier. So, so that's what we, we opted for that, didn't yeah. we? We got, yeah. we got each of us um, put it up on each um, points and stuff, didn't yeah. we? And that. I remember, like, we were sitting, it, it, it was eerie, wasn't it? It was like, Massive, it was like the unknown, you know what I'm saying? No noise, no it, rain, it, it, it was mad. Yeah. Really, you know, thinking Five back now. I fished with, with <coughs> Mick on yeah. another point, didn't we? And yeah. then Alan was. Alan was with Don with, a little bit further along, And Don was wasn't further he? up on Yeah, on the next point. There, there was all on points. The water that year was really low. I've never seen it with that. Oh, I'm bad as it must have been, but, but that was so low. There was like little islands coming out and everything. So we had it, especially because the water volume was down yeah. rather yeah. than up, you yeah. know. So yeah, we had, we had a good crack at it. We just we? fished it. Uh, we, we fish in England, back really, you know. Later on, come a boat yeah, where yeah. We, we sussed it out and uh, was, you know, made it easy for ourselves. But that very first trip was very first trip. Was that was it. Well, well, we well, couldn't well, get back till well, September. And then no. we, we caught. But and by that time, September, some big fish had been caught, hadn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 I can remember, yeah. like me and our mates, you know, coming back to you know some of the lakes we were yeah. fishing in, Harrow, for example, that we started in fishing in '83, yeah. and we was besotted with Harrow, and that took up well, all our we, time. That's where we was, where we met. Yeah, yeah right you know, and all our boys, that, you know, that I grew up with, largely mm. were fishing Rickland's there or Savay yeah. and other places. It was all fishing for a, yeah, the big fish. Yeah, the forty was in. I think a lot of do you send them? was on there, wasn't he? Yeah. it. I think did he have that forty? Yeah, out? yeah, he might have had mm. it. Uh, Silver uh, end. There was a forty. Yeah, and there was a few dotted about. But yeah. I was with Lee to digress slightly. I was with Lee when he caught the forty at Harrow, June the sixteenth, eighty three which put Harrow really on the map, oh, map. Yeah. Yeah. and it turned out to be the biggest one there at yeah. the time, no yeah. question. And then you know the rest is history on Harrow. Mm. But I can remember, for me, coming across Casey really when the likes of uh, Achi had gone there and caught mm. a 50, um, yeah. and then really being friends with Max, Max catching a 66, yeah. Yeah. you know, thinking well, Max very, ain't got a clue, and yeah, he's caught a 66. First, yeah, that very first trip, yeah. actually, that obviously... That was a joke, Max. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it was that very first trip actually to put <coughs> that place on the map properly. Yeah. With the size with of the, the fish that was there, caught then. The first fish out that we Mick could tell you yeah. me and Mick and, and We was further up, wasn't we it? Was I, 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 run. I don't I'll know run. How, how many nights it was, but yeah, we we was on the point and we're laying there and what alarms in then, I don't know what we had, was yeah. it Delkin? It would have been the converted, uh, uh, yeah, Delkin, 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 he went, he went and he, he was gone oh, for 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm right minutes. along south on that, and it's just in the dark. Let me tell you what happened, but I'll yeah. tell you what happened when he came back. He came back, the same as when he was at the top like that. He came back, he went, oh, I've just seen a monster. Yeah, well, we've never seen fish like that before. Yeah, I mean, we've yeah. kept, we're used to catching 20s, maybe, yeah. maybe 30s if you're lucky back yeah, in yeah, them days. Yeah. So I run along there, sort of, Don's land of this fish. He's got this fish out of the water, and like, it, it was. I think it's 40, 40, 49 pounds, but yeah. just under 50 pounds. It was it was huge, unbelievable. I've never seen fish like that, you know. Yeah. Especially a kid of my age who's been fishing back home and catching like doubles and sort of thing like that. It was unbelievable. And it was them first days and them first fish there that we <coughs> caught on that trip that actually put the place on the map, obviously with the, the magazine, what Eric just pointed out in there. You, you got know. pictures of that fish. Yeah, we've got pictures yeah. of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the magazine. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. When, got when, you first, when you first got wind of that, that lake, and you obviously done this iconic first trip. Mm. Who was actually in the loop at that particular time? Was there was there a group of people that sort of kept it under an umbrella for a little while? Well, I didn't tell well, anyone. <coughs> no, I think that once that magazine was out, like that sort of thing, I think, yeah. I think that was out. Yeah. I think after that, people just. They knew, they knew where it was, it was out there. Yeah, we knew know? where it was before Max caught his. That's April 85, yeah, that's so yeah. Yeah. that's the fish. That's, yeah. that's the one, yeah. Well, that's yeah. the angler's mouth. See, in them days, Brilliant. there weren't no carp talk. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, there was a period of time before that come out where there was only going to be a, a small oh, group. Oh, very, yeah. That, that, yeah, you had Maddox, like you said, Maddox had already been out there with Paul a year before. So, what an iconic lake to have under your belt without anybody sort of being involved. 
you know, when for you two years, now, yeah. probably a small group of people had the luxury of oh, having that yeah. enormous lake to well, themselves. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because of the effort, did. though. I don't know that it was that quiet. If you was in the carp grapevine, <clears> as I remember it... Bear in mind, there weren't so many as there is now. No, of course, of course not. not. But if you was in the carp grapevine, you knew of casing. Yeah. What was daunting was actually going getting down there. Yeah, because, you know, doing a... You know, oh, and all of the old zone, cars we used to have that, you know, used to have yeah. bent MOTs back in them yeah. days. That's the only way I got around. What's you know, a car had a bent MOT. Right? The thought yeah, of driving down the coast then, you know, the first few trips, I yeah. drove. So we knew of it, yeah, yeah, it was actually, <coughs> the, you know, the daunting prospect of going down there. But I so think I 85, certainly as I remember, mm. when Max caught that fish, knowing that there'd already been some yeah. 50s caught and stuff, I think if you was in the carp grapevine, you knew about it, <coughs> it just seemed too distant yeah. to try and do it. That's yeah, how I was. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people didn't go there. Yeah. That's right. It was only yeah. if you was in the know, and obviously top top anglers, they wanted to get out there because they wanted to get their names. Get they wanted to get first fish, on yeah. there and catch yeah. some big fish. Well, what yeah. was the record in there? I think it was Clarissa, fifty-one, yeah, fifty-two. Not Clarissa. No, 44, it would have 44, been uh, Yates's Clarissa. fish. Yeah, Yates's. How big was that? Chris Yates 51, had the 51, mirror 51, from Redmire, fifty-one. 51. 51. 51. 51. 51. 51. 51. 51. 51. That would have been about eighty-one. Yeah, yeah. But by eighty-five, you know, more forties were being caught, as I recall. Yeah. You know, not loads, but certainly more. Um, but, but then all of a sudden, it's fifties and sixties yeah, exactly. coming in. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, up yeah, up, yeah. And then you had your, yeah. you had your fish. You had your big and eight and six. And a half, June the seventh, eight and yeah, so yeah, following year, yeah, right? Yeah. Finished in England. That finished. But speak, getting back to that though, mm. in the magazine though, that was it states it in there. Like we, we was actually the first group, actually British anglers to actually go abroad in Europe and catch fish over forty pounds. Which in them days was two forty. Yeah, two forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Says. Oh yeah, because Alan, yeah. Alan caught his one on the last on, on the, the last day. day. The last one. We was last 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 rod, yeah. Wasn't it? yeah, we was packing well, up. Yeah, yeah we, and I don't recall we foreign anglers being about no. No, well, quite in them days, was there? Yeah, it weren't the French. There was no Dutch or Germans. Was there in stuff? German anglers there. Yeah. There was, was there? Well, yeah. Yeah. Right. To be fair, I, yeah. they, they all followed on after. Obviously, I think we opened floodgates by, by doing that, going out there and doing that pioneering yeah. in them days, and getting them early fish, like them forties, like that. That actually put it on the map. And yeah. Then yeah. Lo loads, lots of other people come we, from then, and that opened it up we, for everyone. We met one one carp angler, you, you know him. Did he? Yeah, yeah, cut did he? Yeah, he was, he was and, he, and he knew what we was doing. He was mm. down the, and he was fishing. And there's a photo there you're going to probably see yeah. on this on this shoot. And, uh, it's a lovely photo. I'm yeah. sure it's about a sixty pound. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. He caught some big fish. Didn't the early on video, and, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, so that, he, he, he loved watching yeah. us doing that. That was our first trip, wasn't it? I mean, when, when did we go back after when we had the, is it the following, when you had the 50 and I had the 30, wasn't it? We're September. Yeah, that was our, our next trip, wasn't it? We're September. We had the 230 yeah. sitting in the water. Yeah, and we had a few other fish in between that from other, yeah. other bits that. We should, you can see the photos on there. But that's when it, you know, that's when it was. But the other, the last story about the, the 85, the first trip, was Alan and I go, mm. we've got this, seen this 49 pound of Mickey. Yeah, uh, it's unbelievable. So all of a sudden, we're going home. We, we didn't have a five day, I think it was. So yeah. we, the night before, we've all gone around and said, what, what time we going? We've got a long drive back home. Now, five of us, had, four of us had, haven't caught. No. We had one screaming tape. I had a tape. screaming tape. Well, because one we, we moved though, didn't we? Now what we did, we moved. We was up in um, just near Shapiers. We didn't go too far. Mick and M days, he's like, wherever the sun is, that's where we wanted to be the warmest part of what do you mean? where I it was. So he couldn't so, take <laughs> so I had to drag him that? I had to drag him down closer down to obviously where them boys were up there a little bit more. We ended up going on a little a little island we ended up going on, like just you can get out to it a little it was a tiny little island, but just just enough room for me and you to get on there. Yeah. And we got set up there and I remember, I'll never forget that night, you know, you was you was asleep in the thing we had a one tone I mean the rods we had there, we was using the old monkey timers that go up and down, yeah, yeah. you know, on the stick and yeah, that and I had yeah. I think they were 11 foot rods, 11 foot rods, yeah, that's it, yeah, 11 foot fiberglass rods. Two and a quarters. Yeah, that's it. Two and a quarters. Mitchell <laughs> match with a yeah. flick bay alarm. We oh. oh, weren't set up for it. I thought yeah, that was it. it. So, anyway, we... oh, one toner we had in the night, right? And it was, me and him both come out, I'll never forget. We looked at each other, there's nothing moving. Because you're, you're used to the monkey climber <laughs> yeah. going up and down like that. It <laughs> yeah, was hovering. Yeah, yeah. It was hovering yeah, by the small, yeah. like that, hovering like that. Oh, is this one? Look, yeah. we picked up that, but just went nothing. No. So, oh. it, so it was unlucky then. You know, that was our <coughs> first ever run on Castiel. Uh, from then on, you know, we well, learned, the, didn't we? From <coughs> then on. When we're going to go now? So that's mm. what we've had. We've one take, and we've had one fish. Yeah. Still seen that fish that that made it anyway. Yeah. Alan was to the left of us on the next he point, wasn't it? We're watching yeah, him. There's a photo of him playing yeah. it. So in the night, <coughs> in the, in 
the evening before, Paul got what we're going, there's no none, none of that, oh, we come and pick you up, I'm just going to reel in, what time are we reeling in? Mm. We've got to get away by about 8 o'clock. Right, fair enough, now you know it's going to be half past 8, so whatever. So we're all getting up, it's a bit of a misty, murky mm. morning. We're just um, <coughs> getting, getting... Slowly retrieving your rights. I'm looking down, see, I'm not going to put mine to... But Alan's on the next point. Mm. You're talking about 200 yards, yeah. and I can see him on the internal one. I thought, I'm not going to reel into Lee Wood, because otherwise you might. Anyway, <laughs> Cuddy was, he's walked over to his rods, right? All of a sudden he's gone, hang on, he's in, right? But I, now we think he's reeling in. in. You I said that, didn't you? He's having a laugh, and he, oh, yeah. yeah. All of a sudden he's gone, <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> I said, no, he's got one. I'm telling you, he's got one. Yeah, well, I'm going around. Oh, did I? I went around, didn't I? I, I can't remember. Yeah, I went around the yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah. I flew now. I flew around. It's, we don't, we're packing up that yeah. time. Unbelievable. That is, I don't know if it's Big Fish Friday everyone talks about. I don't know if it was some Friday. Anyway, that's it. And that he was 44. That 44 so that was yeah. the second 40 yeah. of that trip, which was His biggest fish was 18 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really? yeah. Is that unbelievable. Is that right? His biggest fish was 18 pounds. We're fishing Brookfield Lane. How wonderful was that? Unbelievable. That's it there. Yeah, we'll get that on the. Uh, to continue. Well, yeah. that's quite a lot of info in that. For, no, for the there year. is. Yeah, well, I'll scan that in and that's overlay. What saying, that's what I was trying to yeah. make a point of. That was the first ever. You know, you to go and do it, anglers, you know, yeah. do that for British anglers. It's yeah. all in there, mate. It's all yeah. in there, black and white. You know, yeah. that's if it, it if kick started it. If Kevin had yes, yes, yes. If Kev, that's Kevin that would have said exactly to me, uh, what we are now, tell you where it is, but they're, they're caning it down there, right? I still would have gone, <laughs> but it would have come out then, but it didn't. Paul, you know, Paul Region took the coats loads down there, and none of them wanted. They all wanted a night fish, right? So he, he just turned it in. He didn't continue. I think he ran a few that year. But they didn't succeed. But yeah. if they'd have succeeded, that would have been, and we would have been yeah. following on from there. Yeah, and as we said, there was some lovely fish caught in '85. Oh, you yeah, know, I've got some it. pictures that I'll oh, overlay. Yeah, yeah, you know, those levery things, oh, and yeah, you really know, beautiful. yeah, real. Well, when, what, 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 was that the same year, 84, you caught that 59? No, 85. Oh, no, 86. 86. 86. 86. Oh, 86. Yeah. Yeah, we went back September, 86, the following year. So that's yeah. the second yeah, time. I went the following year. That's it. And, and it was my third yeah. trip there, and I'd done an article in Cartwell. Yeah. I think it was third time lucky. Yeah, we done, we done quite better that time. Oh, yeah. We, 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 we nice were with the boat. You see the pictures there. Yeah, so that's, it all out. I mean, yeah that's because uh, you were losing lots of fish out there, obviously, because there's great big snags all cut off on the bottom and everything, weren't there? So, you know, and we got our head around it by. We, we fall like sheep because you've got rowing boats and that. So we went and hired rowing boats, come along, because obviously you can transport your gear from point to point if you want to do that anyway. But our main our main um, sort of like, thing by doing that is obviously once you get a run on that, you can get in the boat and up above them, you can land them. But another thing that we learned to do, which was very very iconic as well, wasn't it, that a lot of people have done that, is using the boat to actually bait up with, which in them days you've never heard of. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I never heard yeah of. no, don't even, I remember. Even, yeah. even back in the UK, you can't, you can't do things like this and that, so we devised a plan, obviously, I, I used to go on a boat, a big bucket of bait. Is the, is the row, really? I would, well, I was a kid 20 then, years old. Yeah, you would have been rowing, mate. I was 18 years old. You would have done the row. Well, I'm chucking the lead, and he's going, let me tell him, tell him. <laughs> so I used to go out the boat, right? Funny so we used to go from left to right, whatever, that, whatever way the wind was blowing, yeah? Them days it was peanuts. We used to have soaked peanuts and whatever boilies we had at that time. I think there was Mickey Richardson's were they then? Dons, Crafty Catch, yeah, that's it. Peanut Pro. So bucket of bait all mixed up, like, like as you do now, but obviously early days it's a bit different. Big bucket of bait. I used to go down, downwind wherever it was. We used to have six rods. Obviously Mick used to start one end. I was the boatman all the time, he was the caster because he was a bit more experienced than me then obviously, I was still learning the trade and he used to cast to the back of the boat which he'd done with accuracy and what, what the aim of that was, I used to actually see the lead go in and the, and, and the rig go down, untangled, alright, he, he used it's to guide me to where we want to go, well I'm fishing 30, 40 yards and we, yeah, yeah. 30, I've just got the, out. I've got the positions on, on, the, on the horizon, yeah, the other it. side, 300, 400 yards, bump, yeah. bump, bump. so I said, and as he was you going slow, so do this, me and he stops, right, do that, stop. he's old, treading water, and I've got the thing, bang out, right? the boat. then I wait for him to go, yes, because if he goes like that, it's he's just got to reel in again, so he's gone yeah. like that, I'm leaning, it goes down, it goes he it bang, down, yeah. and I go like that, and he chucks the bait round. And but if he goes down and it goes, you're in weed. Yeah, or a snag. No, yeah, you don't throw the bait, no. I reel in again. A couple of times when the wind's <laughs> over my head. I should have had crash helmet on, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. He's only three, he's only three out. He took the shots in. Yeah, yeah, but to be fair, he shots. never hit me once. But <laughs> that, that, that was actually crash the plan, wasn't it? So start from there, and we used to do a big long line out on these points, because they used to go away gradually. 
and the, and the bait was all in long lines, so you just keep casting at that distance all the time, yeah. wait for the fish to come along. And every Simple time, that. Yeah. And every time you, you bait up, I know the, the tree there, yeah. that one, that one's the big log, that one's the brick, you know, the and big bowl. These, you know, these fish could eat in them days. And invariably they did come along, because there was yes, a lot of fish there, right, and they weren't hard no, to catch, no. was they? No, when you think about it, they caught. There was nobody in them days putting in that amount of bait no, anyway. No, there wouldn't. No, no, that fish was, were that was a novelty. When you, you talk about a bucket of bait today, it's nothing. Oh, it's, Everyone yeah. thinks no, it's well, yeah. We used to have great big containers. But, but in them like days, no one was baiting no, like no, that. No, no. So well, yeah, that, even that was like well. another iconic moment in, 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 in this Correct particular me, yeah. trip. You know? And the thing is, even back in, on a boat with buckets of back bait. in the UK, you would never do that. You no, never exactly. dreamed of doing that. So yeah. you are, you're actually stepping your game up, sort of thing, to actually compensate for the size of these fish that was yeah, in there. Yeah. But you know, we, we didn't know them days what was actually in there until obviously, like, sort of, as you say, kicked down Max and Kevin, caught them fish, you know, 60, yeah, yeah. 70 pounders, mate. It's unbelievable. And also, I don't know. recall us having mm. outboard engine, electric outboards, no, no, or no, no, certainly no, not echo no. sounders. No. 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 It was all I'll rowing, tell wasn't you it? Story it in it the is. Yeah. Our boat's coming in with all our gear ready to move for the night. Look at that, Eric, giving it some of that. Look at the gear we got. Look at the gear. Come on, Eric. Oh, look at that landing craft. I ain't gonna land ya. Yeah. We told you about there's a north arm, there's a south right, arm, so and a west arm. I right. learned it by rowing two rowing boats, right, one me in it with a few bits and towing another one, right, for from the end of the south arm, where it's all shut up, we thought it was a lovely area, but we got moved on from there, so we wanted these these clever sods, no, we're going to go around the west arm now, it's not just up the road, no, it's you know, not. how many miles of <laughs> trucking that is? Yeah, a long way, right, so yeah, yeah. We, had row, we had to row my gear, and their gear, obviously, they, they put a lot of stuff in the van, but couldn't get a lot of stuff, I think I had the rods, didn't I, and stuff Everything in there, I, 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 I think you got most of the stuff in there, load, load the, uh, we load it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I had to walk up the, up, up the yeah. road thing to the van. Yeah, nothing's changed, mate, is it? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah as, we went later as, we went, as we went across the bridge, oh, from no, show to air, so going across the bridge, right? And it's blisters just, on my hands, literally honestly. just going past, right? And as he's right, and I went, look at it. You were having ice cream. I think he was with Stuart. And he wouldn't look. He was with Stuart. He was with Stuart. Stuart, right? And we're laughing, toot, toot. And he wouldn't even look up at us. You know what I was saying to myself under my breath? Yeah. Imagine can't. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and I'll tell you what, that was a long row. Uh, so I've actually, I've, act I've, I've actually rowed from the end of the south arm, complete the south arm, and complete. What's that little bit stretch to go to the west arm? Is that is the west arm? Isn't yeah. It? yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the bridges? Yeah, yeah, and, and rowed right up, round into the west arm. Oh, so that was a long row. Was you chancing your arm night fishing back in them yes. days? Yes. yes, yeah, definitely. as we did. But yeah. yeah, I don't ever remember anyone not having no. a go at night no. fishing. And every <coughs> now and then you'd hear of someone yeah. getting well, clobbered is, by yeah, the gendarmes. Yeah, so that was when they, when they got the used push. to all, the, a lot of anglers started hitting Cassian. Yeah. And then, yeah. then they was on your case. Yeah. Yeah. When we, I think we set up an alarm with... Oh, no, I made, I made a wire, a, a line around the bushes and onto alarms and that. So, so if anyone so, comes But a lot down, further back up the track. And we'll hear it. And we'll, we'll hear the alarm yeah. go off so we can yeah. leave our rods in. Or we we're always had like scissors. Yeah, yeah, we tied scissors, had scissors up by the optonics. Yeah, that's it. So if they come, we'll say we're not fishing, we're just camping. Just run down and come. But to be fair, I right. think we just carried on doing what we used to do in any way until we until we was told we couldn't. That was yeah. a, that, that was a, that was a thing then. We never hardly got yeah. caught. Yeah, it's it's, it's a lot more know. lenient in them days. They were, they? yeah, because they, they're not used to us all going out there. This is all alien to them, really. Yeah. But by '86, by the time I went out there, I think the guard the pesh had started to get enough of it because yeah. on the, the trip oh, yeah. I went on in June. So you had that fifty odd 59. in the beginning of June. June seven. Yeah, 86. Yeah, I'd gone out there no. about the 15th of June, wind 86. Late, yes. By that time, I think, you know, we'd got wind of the fact that the guard the pesh were getting mm. the ump. Yeah. But we still night fished. Yes. Yeah. Having said that, we got caught and a few yeah. of our mates had their gear confiscated. Yeah, confiscated. Yeah. So yeah. In, have his gear, Nick. Yeah, Alan Partridge had his gear, you, um, you what, taken, you. as did Pete Ridley. Yeah. 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 The, what was on there, there was, there was a bloke actually, he, he, he was a bailiff on there, and it was his actually own lake sort of thing. And he, were, he, he weren't happy with us lot all being on there all the time. I can't name? remember, but he was the bar, he was a bloke right who went round. Battery all right in my one? He, he so went round there, um, I mean, the uh, SD card. He went round uh, sabotage yeah, yeah. and everyone's vehicles, yeah, punctures, oh. he used to, oh, right. he used to yeah, put the windows that. in. He didn't like it. And he actually got caught in the end. There was damage he? in 
English right, vehicle. Yeah, yeah, remember yeah that? I remember that. Yeah. yeah, he actually got caught by the gendarmes by smoke. doing that because he was actually a, a, a bailiff on Cassian, but he didn't like it because all us turned up were doing it, which, yeah. which is understandable for his point of view. He had the place to himself, didn't he? <coughs> yeah. But he wasn't. I don't think he was fishing like to our sort of like level. Yeah. But he didn't like it, you know. And he sabotaged lots of people's um, yeah. stuff like that, was trying to put us off and not, not, not let people go. But I think Shape I think he helped us um, sort things out. That was the focal point, wasn't yeah, it? Pierre? Yeah. Yes. Oh, everyone, you con yeah. you got yeah. your boat from there. Everything well, centered out of that for, for the him, junction of every, all the arms. Yeah, for yeah. him, it was like a whole. With all us lot, we would give him so much revenue coming in there, mate. It was brilliant, Mick. Wasn't yeah. it? There, like, you, you know, he, he looked after us in there, didn't he? Give us a good price of the boats. He had to buy more boats, didn't he? I think I remember. Yeah, uh, it was a great way. business for him oh. with the anglers, yeah, and, he then, and he was very chips. accommodating. Oh, he had a food, wasn't chips, it? Wasn't it? Yeah. it was great. It was <laughs> Wouldn't eat the steaks. It, it was, it was an raw. iconic place. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, you know, Shape here has played. It's, it has a big part in all of this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that, no, very that was much. Your meeting point. You know, yeah, brilliant. yeah. As did eventually the guy who had the oh, yeah, calf on the along. south what arm. Was, what was his name? Gerard. 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 Yeah, he became very. Gerard. He was the first one you come to. That's it. Well, he was the next one, didn't he? After Shape here, we we ended up going there. Really pally with him, and he used to go and yeah. camp up there and fish it. across to the, towards the new yeah. pylon yeah. that was put up when we were fishing there yeah. in '87. Oh yeah, right. The pylon, yeah. with the helicopter oh. coming over every day, bringing the cable over. I tell you, I you, tell you yeah, yeah, I remember and that. It all I'll up tell you what, pylon. I do vivid remember as well, which was brilliant. Do you remember then great big aeroplanes? You come scoop the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For the yeah. When I first saw that, I thought, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. 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 scooping up the yeah. water. Yeah. 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 I'm saying, all, the, all these planes. memories brilliant, are brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. 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 I've never seen that sort of thing. Yeah. 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 You've never seen that sort of stuff going on, have we? Yeah. Yeah, so certainly I would have said 85 was the year that it really kicked off, didn't it? You know. This is uh, looking down into the swim that we've had the first fish. This is Tuesday morning. Uh, Alan has uh, picked it up at half past four in the morning and um, everybody's well pleased for him. It's a nice fish, 33 pound. And uh, all the lads have come round, all envious as usual, but uh, all pleased for him as well. And uh, Joe's trying to get ready so we can get some sort of a view of the fish. Uh, Alan's getting ready so he looks a bit decent on a film and everybody's sort of pleased for him. We've been round to see Mickey all there, too far around to get round to see us and um, he wish sends him the best regards and best of luck to him he's saying. Uh, Mick there and Kevin, Joe, we're all sort of over the moon you know. Um, another couple of days to go and we've got one in the bag and Everybody else has sort of missed out, but uh, so far it's uh, just the excitement of the one fish. During the course of the night, the fish took uh, Alan across from his swim right down to the point opposite where Pierre's calf is down there. Um, you can see Pierre's calf down there in the distance. Uh, quite a pull on the fish. Um, very, very, very strong. I won't wind up no more, no. We're doing kneel on the lilo, Al. Yeah, you better stand near there as well. Yeah, Lovely. Behave yourself, you go. No, 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 no. Behave yourself, you go back in the water. Please. Got it? Yeah. Here, come on. Oh, it's lovely. Okay, we fixed that for a while now. Can you turn it round here a little bit, Al? Nope. Yeah, I've got her end on, I just want the front view of it, so I'll get. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Lovely, lovely. 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 Lovely.
Last oh, one is 57 times. Oh, you was in the back Blank of me, weren't you? Oh, I just remember taking it in turns. I, was, more than that, yeah. no. I seem to be forever in the back, Mick. No. Mm. You're sticking mm. the little one in the back. That's how the good one. Yeah, the young one and me, wasn't it? We have a lot the following year. Yeah. It was, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's another story. Who did we all go out with then on that trip? Well, the original trip was you two. Yeah. Alan fished with Joe. Yeah. And I was with Norman. That's it. And then Mick come in at some point before we'd, we'd done all the organising, or Mick done all the organising yeah. with Alan, and said, um, we can make it a bit cheaper if we bring another runner or whatever, and it was yeah. Kevin, yeah. and we took Mick's gear. So he brought yeah, his gear. Another, yeah, yeah, and Mick flew out. Oh, loaded no. that. that was so there were seven yeah. of us yeah. in a twin wheel train. This, this yeah. iconic trip yeah. for me. Eight lots of gear. Yeah. This, this iconic road. trip for me had, had different connotations. <laughs> I remember vividly when when Kevin sort of jumped me into this trip. Yeah. I was having trouble at work and I needed to get away. And anyway, she owned me into this trip. I'll never forget, Mick, he said, you've got to come and load the van. I'll take your gear, but you've got to come and load the van. Of course, I turn up, there's seven blokes like that. There's, there's a like, man in the gear, we've gone, get it in there. Yeah. I'll take your gear, but you've got to get all that yeah, That in sounds there. familiar, Mick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that, I'll never, ever forget that. Right. It was all part of that. Did someone then, sleep on the way down? Who slept? Mate, who was in the oh, back? I was in the you. Back. No, I was in the you back. you and Alan lunch. drove, yeah, right, and you had two bed chairs set up to sleep on, right, and everyone else had to sit cramped. Sit on and when you done your three hours, no, me, 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 talk about <laughs> you, right, him, right. <laughs> Well, team leader. When, yeah, when, yeah. He, when he'd done Captain. driving, Captain, if right. he wanted to sleep, he had priority to lay on the bed yes, to sleep <laughs> between him and the driver, <laughs> and the rest of us sat on bags of peanuts. peanuts and I just it. remember mainly no, how long was that being drive? in the back. Yeah. How long was that drive? Oh, it's 17 forever, hours. wasn't it? Was it 17 17 forever? Hours. Was that non-stop? Forever. I think that was... Driving. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but it was hard work sleeping in the back. We didn't for that long, no. but yeah. 17 hours. 17 hours drive. And that's someone who can night. sleep with a clothes on. And I can sleep, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Well, I'd have soon have jumped on a plane. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> you drive. Yeah. Done the same thing you said. We got there at 6 in the morning, first of June. Sun was up, and it was like a mirror. We come in, we stopped the van, and we got out. And high up. Up, yeah, yeah we were looking oh, down and a fish jumped, and beautiful. I just thought, oh my god, yeah, beautiful, brilliant. What, what, you know, but that would have been so that was my third trip to yeah. KC mm. with you boys, yeah. Um, because I'd gone back out, I went there in the June, so you had that fish 59 June. Yeah. early June, June yeah. 86, June yeah. Yours was 17. So I, yeah, I caught mine in the middle of June. I think we went out June. on about the 15th. Eight, eight, that was my eight, first seven, trip. Eight, eight, seven, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and working, yeah. working yeah. back the, as you were speaking there, Mick, yeah. and working yeah. back the people that were fishing yeah. eight yeah. five. Just a touch bigger than it was really Alan, down to them, that me and my mates, yeah. Yeah. and we were mad anglers. Yeah, yeah, mad anglers. We do anything to go fishing. All Especially hours, abroad, we yeah. would fish. It all happened. We, yeah. we did. Yeah. We did. Yeah. It took over. Yeah. It did. It mainly took over carp fishing yeah. when we got the hair, the hair rig. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, was, it changed everything. It was it? fishing from with like, what I was fishing pre hair. You know, we, weren't we? we was yeah. fishing with luncheon meat. You just putting it through. You hook in, in the luncheon meat. Grass fishing. at the back of it. You know? Did yeah. you have the, the hair rig early or? No, I didn't have it early. We we got the hair rig thanks to Lee Jackson. Yeah. And it would have been about eight. 81 I think yeah something like that 80, yeah. and we were friends with Lee Lee was you know I think Lee was involved with running the sh um, the meetings yeah. what was it um, and back then it was the CAA wasn't it mm. I have the regional organizers and I think Kempy was involved and we was friends with Jeff and a couple yeah. of Tony Owls <coughs> and them boys and we were fishing the Weald those days uh, Weald North and South Weald, followed right? by North yeah Weald, the top yeah. lake bottom lake followed by Darren uh, uh, Big Lake, mm. Darren Tip Lake, um, Brooklands um, at you, Dartford. Was you fishing them lakes pre pre, pre casing? Pre, pre, oh yeah, pre, we're no, talking pre, no, pre Herrig. Pre Herrig. Pre Herrig. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, but then we got, got hold of the Herrig while yeah. we was on them lakes. Yeah. Yeah. Took over, and yeah, it did. <laughs> and on South Weald, <laughs> yeah. it, you know, all of a sudden Chose that Tiger yeah. Nuts. I, when I first come across Tiger Nuts, I was talking about this yesterday to someone. When I first come across Tiger Nuts. It was the Kemp boys down in Brooklands, and they, I always remember the word, they said they were using Calachanas, whatever they are, <laughs> right? And I saw uh, Dickie Caldwell Never putting out that. what then became Tigers, I didn't know it at the time, although they was in Maddox's book uh, from John Baker, he was spotting at Brooklands, and 
us Essex boys will think, you know, noddies, they ain't gonna catch sod all, all that noise and one thing and another. I think by the time they'd caught about 30 fish and we'd had about three, <laughs> right we thought, yeah, so yeah, me and Jim, true. we've gone hunting, you know, every, you know, Pakistani mm. corner shop Kalich, for Kalachanas, because that's where you got your particles yeah. back in them days, yeah. couldn't find them, couldn't oh. find them. I think it took about a year to find out it was actually tiger right, nuts, yeah. but we was using, using them on wheel, uh, wheel so and all back in them yeah. days, wasn't it? And then, but 83 yeah. oh, yeah. changed everything when we found yeah. Arrow, but that's yeah. another story, yeah, another story but to come back to 80, Six. Yeah. Yes, I'm we're... going with our boys. Uh, me, um, uh, Mick. You went on that no, trip. No, yeah, Mick. I went, yeah. yeah, you know all the boys that I was on that trip. You know that I'll overlay on the thing. Mm. That was really down to a result of knowing Max, him catching that big one, seeing other boys catching big ones, yeah. being on the carp grapevine because we're in the Cone Valley. Yeah. But the trip in the van was about the most daunting thing I think I've ever uh -huh. done. You know, it, just worth, it was down worth it though, Well, we went there, down there in a, a big van. Of course it was worth it yeah, when we got there. there. Big was. van, and Keith the Tooth and Max went down in the car. Mm. But I could just remember getting lost around Paris. We took it in terms of driving. Oh, yeah, we're all shouting and hollering. You know, you've been in the front too long. You've got to sit in uh, the back. There's me and little Pete sitting on peanuts that? and shit. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, go on. Do you remember that time when we got, actually got a police escort out of Paris? We got lost. We got lost in there in the van. Because he spoke a bit of English, didn't he? Yeah, I think, yeah, we were telling, he got us back onto, we got, we was lost. We, that, that song, that lost in Paris, but. Did yeah, we stop, got, you know? Yeah, Did we got stop. a police escort. Yeah. And they escorted us out. We <laughs> liked all that. We <laughs> took us back out on the main <laughs> auto route. We come off right, yeah. yeah, but it yeah. was a daunting process. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. oh no, we were getting lost no, all manner of things. That's what I'm saying. You forget about all that, right. didn't you? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. when you got lost, whoever got you lost got the telling off, yeah, because you know, why'd you send me that way? Blah blah, and then you drive, yeah, it's a nightmare. But when we, like you boys, when we got there and you arrive as you do off the motorway on that south arm. You know, it, it, it's daunting, and we yeah. thought Darren's Big Lake was, was big. big. Then we went to Harrow. We thought uh, that 48 was, 48 was, was that big. was massive. It was, yeah. Yeah, the, you know, Save was 60 odd acres, I seem to recall. Mm. Then, then to go right. to but then like a puddle compared to that. Yeah, so, that, yeah, it's like, like a bay one almost. Yeah, that's one yeah, arm. Yeah, almost a bay. Thinking, yeah. Oh, where are you gonna? How are you gonna find the fish? Yeah, yeah. But like you said earlier, I think all we looked for was. You had a map, points. was the points. Yeah, Any that's point, it. Gets the further further out the point yeah, went, yeah, they've and, got to come across them, they? and they were the days when we thought the further you cast, the bigger the fish. No, right, so no, no. whoever but got very, furthest out thought they'd catch the biggest. Rarely, very rarely yeah. fished the bays, did we? No, really no, like I don't recall that. It was all points. On the points lovely yeah. bays. Yeah. In England, you see the bays, bang, bang. We never really, really Cassie, see, see never many in the bays, always out in front of the points. Yeah, they must have come in. Most bays, I don't know, might. Might be some people have gone down it. No, that, that was our plan. Place. We'd just set a long line and just yeah. be cast in terms. Yeah, so we, we done all but right. yeah. So eighty six, and then it had really become popular, like we yeah. say. Yeah. And so we were by no means. You know, some people have asked me, "Oh, was you the first to casein and stuff?" Not by a long shot. Certainly, eighty four. You boys, Maddox, and yeah. you say, yeah. actually, well, they were the we were the, we were the yeah, first they were probably. the first boys. Yeah. But in a couple of years, it goes very quickly. Then yes. boom, we yeah, was on it. Yeah, yeah. 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 and uh, it's like yeah, then. yeah. yeah it's great.